How to remove DRM protection from your Amazon purchase books. The first thing you need to do is download the latest version of Calibre application. You can get the installation file from the Calibre website. Next, we need to download and install two plugins into Calibre, the KFX input plugin and DDRM plugin. For installing the KFX input plugin, the link I provided will take you to the mobile read website. Scroll down in the first post until you see a file called KFX input.zip. For installing DDRM plugin, download the beta version version 10.0.9. In the link I provided, expand the asset section and click to download the DRM underscore tools underscore 10.0.9.zip. Now let's install these plugins into Calibra. Open the Calibra application, go to preferences and then plugins under the advanced section. Select the load plugin from file, then locate and open kfx input.zip. Again, go to load plugin from file and select DDRM underscore plugin.zip. Click yes on the warning and now restart Calibra. Now we need to install an older version of Kindle for PC. The version that works best is 2.4.0 build 70904. Once this is done, open Kindle for PC, go to tools, options, general, and uncheck automatically install updates when they are available without asking me option. Now open up the Kindle for PC app and also open up the My Kindle Content directory in a separate window. Then on the Kindle for PC app, just double click or right click and hit download to grab your purchased books. Once you do that, a new folder will be created with an ASIN number, which is a unique 10 digit product number from Amazon. Keep that My Kindle Content folder open and now open up your Calibre app. Drag and drop the AZW file into Calibre. Once it's added, you will notice the file appears in KFX format. This is a good sign. It means the DDRM plugin worked and the book is free from DRM. To test this, go ahead and select the book, right click on it and choose convert books, then select convert individually. You will get a menu with different output formats. I usually pick EPUB, but you can choose whatever format you need. Once the conversion is done, you should now see two formats for your book. If you'd like to see the full video on this topic, check out the link below.